If, if we say, if we want to put a strong emphasis on men and women are constitutionally different, yep. designed different, they think differently, they react differently, their gifts are different, their insights are different, mm. their wisdom is different, everything is different, and that God had reasons for doing it like that. If we simply accept that, then we are in some measure depending upon natural revelation. Right? So we're, we're saying, um, okay, the Bible says certain things about men and women, but in order for that to make sense, we have to say, and of course, right? Women are saved through childbearing. That's right. Well, well of course, I, I, I learned outside the Bible that women are the ones who give birth. Mm -hmm. But we're so far down the road that we're challenging even that. that yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Men have periods too, they'll say. No, no. It's, no. One of the blessings of being a man is that not being part of my life, actually. Right. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's because we're Gnostic. We are like a thoroughly Gnostic. Um, we look at sexuality as existing on a spectrum, and it's a choose-your-own-adventure book, which is kind of funny because just like two decades ago, it was like they can't help that they're homosexual. They were right. born that way. Right. And now it's like, well, I mean, were they born that way? Because anyone can become anything at any time. They can become people are becoming cheetahs now, right? They're like <laughs> doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Well, the one thing you can't become is if you're homosexual, you can't become a heterosexual That's evangelical. Right. That's right. Because reparation... Reparation therapy it, yeah, is, is evil. evil, evil. And it's bad, and it's right. going to drive people to commit but, suicide. But, or but wait, I thought it was fluid. I thought that's sexuality right. was fluid. Yeah, the, someone that's uh, um, someone that's biologically male that doesn't feel biologically male is going to be driven to suicide if he doesn't start to identify as a woman. That's what they'll tell you. Right. And then they'll tell you, well, if a guy identifies is biologically male but identifies as a woman but starts wanting to live as a man right, reparative right. therapy, that will drive them to suicide. Right. So really what's going on is you just hate biological reality. You just hate what God's made. Let's, that's all this is. Right. This is all silly and we should stop dignifying it with some of the deep arguments. But there's, a, there's another level to this because if we hate what God did, what we're seeing, angling for ultimately is we want to topple him and replace him. Yep. So he made the world he made man and woman in his image, mm -hmm. and we want to remake man and woman in our image. I think that's probably what's going on with the metaverse. I think that's probably what's going on with AI. I think the idea that we can connect all these people up to a place where they can choose an avatar and be whatever they want, right. and we can create our own babble in a digital realm and, and unsex people. Right. It seems like that's a drive, uh, our desire to actually have dominion and create things. Uh, under our own rules, and they're trying to do that. It also makes me think that these people have never read or watched any science fiction at all, because don't, <laughs> you, right. don't you know how these movies yeah, end? You see Logan's <laughs> Run, man? It's not good. Yeah. Yeah. So if we, have, if, if we want to replace God, uh, one of, this, I think, goes back to existentialism, where uh, existence precedes essence, yep. ac according to the existentialists. So your essence is a role your own, you do whatever you want. Existence is raw, uh -huh. it's chaos, That's right? True. And so existence is just there, and then it's our job to put an image or an imprint on it yep. and be whatever you want to be, That's right? right? That's so if you want to be a girl, want to be a guy, want to be a third thing, want to be a fourth mm -hmm. thing, but that's us attempting to be the creator. We want to ascend the sides of the north and, and mm -hmm. take everything into our own hands. And uh, I think you're exactly right. The metaverse and all of this it's where it seems is, like it's gone. Yeah. is hubris. It's just mm -hmm. we, we want to make everything. Watch the full interview only on Canon+. Plus. If you haven't joined up yet, be sure to use the promo code MR99 to get your first month for just 99 cents. Just click the link below and sign up today.